Hey everybody, what's going on? This is Sacred Guard, and welcome back to Let's Play Monster Girl Quest uh, Original Trilogy. Uh, it is hot as hell. It is, I am incredibly sweaty. You can't really tell, but I'm not. I'm not doing too good. Thankfully, I had the AC on earlier, but it's not helping too much. Uh, last time we ended up playing, we had found out that Alice was the Monster Lord. I was about to say Monster Girl, the Monster Lord. And Tamemo here seems to be willing to give us one of three options, which is either fried tofu, touch the tail, or Poseidon's bell. Now, no, no simping here, but I, my first immediate option was probably going to be touch fluffy tail because why not? Um, but we have a we have a quest and a video to get to, so I'm just go with Poseidon's bell. Then I want the bell. That's what I expected. Well then, here you go. Someone quickly hands me the bell. Okay. But is it really okay? Is handing it over so quickly? I don't really care. The traps in this cave look like look like fun, so I wandered in here. Okay, I believe you. Ugh, that can't be. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm just happy that I got the bell safely, but I wouldn't even have to fight, that's good. Now what are you going to do, Luca? Are you going to try and defeat me? Or to, to defeat me? Tamemo waves her tails around while asking me. Mmm... I'll... yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> she's one of the four heavenly knights, I'm not gonna do that. Because I can barely, like... I, I can just barely uh, raise my sword to Grimberia. <laughs> So, no, there's no reason to fight. There's no reason to fight. I'll only fight those who try to stop monsters and humans from coexisting. Hmm, an admirable, admirable endeavor. However, we will fight eventually. After all, I'm one of the monsters of four heavenly knights. If it happens, it will happen. But right now, I have no reason. Well then, farewell. Termo and the other two vanish. I'm left alone with Alice, who has a dark expression on her face, yeah. Now, now we're in an awkward position where... My goal was to defeat the Monster Lord the entire time, only to find out that I'm traveling with her, so... Yeah. <laughs> also, if you guys are wondering like why I'm sitting so far, like, far off the screen, it's because, like... I, I have no way to be able to cover up the light that's behind me, so... I'm just gonna be sitting like this for the entire video. Sorry. Also, I have been getting requested numerous times to play something called Shrift or whatever, but it's supposed to be the collab for Monster Girl Quest Paradox. <laughs> I might do it. It doesn't really, the way it looks, it doesn't really appeal to me, I'm not gonna lie. But. If it's already, like, English translated and everything, then, yeah, sure. Maybe I will play it. If I go out of my way to actually get it. But, other than that, I'm probably not gonna touch anything related to Paradox until I see that Paradox Part 3, like, there's a demo or it's already out but not translated. Because if it's not translated, of course, I'm, I'm obviously going to be lost, but I'll still go out of my way to play it because I want to see where things go. That's literally the only other reason why I'll touch Paradox, but if this strip thing is not is fully English translated, then yeah, I'll play it and maybe I'll play it on, uh, on the channel. I'm not sure yet. So, Alice, you're the Monster Lord? I didn't hide it. You were just too big of an idiot to realize it. Looking back on it, it was pretty stupid not to notice. You should have noticed it when Granberia followed my orders. Isn't the only person who can give an order to the four heavenly knights the Monster Lord? So on my journey to defeat the Monster Lord, I was traveling with the Monster Lord. I don't get why she kept quiet about it. Why did you travel with me? My answer is the same as before. You're an interesting human. 
In addition, I want to see the world with my own eyes. Traveling with you satisfied both of my interests. Did you really order an all-out war with humans? Only in self-defense are you allowed to exert power. That was my only command to the monsters. It must have gotten distorted when it reached human ears. I don't want a full-scale war. Exert power not to rule humans, but only in self-defense? But then why was Granberry attacking Iliasburg? Truth be told, that is a good order for Alice to give. Like, I mean, yes, the monsters, they're obviously more powerful than humans and whatnot. But, like, Alice doesn't want to rule over everybody. Like, she doesn't want a full-scale war. She wants to make sure that the other monsters... That if they have to fight, it's only in self-defense. Because they need humans. They need humans. Without humans, they have no food. They can't reproduce. And most of them just can't satisfy their urges. Kill the humans, you lose all of that. That's not all either. I mean, yeah, there's some monsters that, like, they just straight up kill you after they're done, but, like... At least there's still more humans after this, and in the end, you may have let that monster, who could be from a, in a dying species, be able to reproduce, so... That helps them, in a way. Oh, man. There are monsters all over the world that are attacking humans. Isn't it because she ordered it? That's what everyone thinks, anyway. With the slaughter of Remina, the humans were burning with hatred toward nearby monsters, with a dangerous situation brewing. Violence was only approved for self-defense purposes, but a lot of monsters seem to have taken a more liberal interpretation of what I meant. An ex inexcusable act. What the hell happened then? Wasn't it the Monster Lord's command to not leave a single survivor? I don't know. Trying to find the truth of that situation is another reason for my journey. Eh? You don't know? Doesn't look like she's playing dumb. If you don't know, well, was it just a decision of the monsters? The slaughter of Remina took place before I took the throne. However, the previous monster lord did not give the instruction to attack that town either. I still do not know who gave the command for that. But the most mysterious part... Even the monsters that were living with the humans in Bremena were slaughtered. Even the monsters were killed? I haven't heard that part before. I was always told it was an act of violence from the monsters on humans. What the hell happened in Bremena? Well, that's the end of that talk. What are you going to do now, Luca? The opponent you have to beat is right in front of you. Yeah? The purpose of my journey was to beat the Monster Lord. And now she's standing in front of me. Alice. Hmm. She's not someone I should fight. Don't joke around. What would you have done if I challenged you? There's no way I'd even be a match for her as I was now anyway. Besides, if you vanished right now, wouldn't the monsters just all be confused? In fact, it seems like Alice was trying to put the brakes on the monsters running wild. If Alice vanishes, peace wouldn't come. It would be the exact opposite. Who knows what the monsters would do, suddenly losing their leader. Hmm, they might. I want them to obey my orders. But I still get the wishy-washy ones like Granberry and Alma Elma. So the person causing the storm between the continents was Alma Elma herself and not your order? Blocking the route between continents is in no way self-defense. It's just something to cause trouble for humans. But you know... <clears throat> Grimberry has always insisted that the Ilias Temple is the ringleader of evil. It's a hero manufacturing facility that turns out heroes to fight monsters. She argues that destroying it is self-defense. As a theory, it's... not too far off the mark. People who call themselves heroes are pretty unsightly. Hmm. As the as we saw with the one dude who demanded, who demanded that uh, the innkeeper let him stay for the hero price. From a monster's viewpoint, I guess that's true. 
It looks like coexistence is still far away. That's why I... But is it okay? Not fighting me? I told you many times already, Alice. I only fight monsters who get in the way of humans and monsters coexisting. Alice is different. I've decided that the Monster Lord is not an evil person. But... Aiming at the Monster Lord's castle is still my aim, yes. It also looks like the four Heavenly Knights are going wild doing their own thing. Attacking Iliusburg and blocking the sea route. The, the sea route. I don't know if that's a translation error with what I'm using right now. I can't leave that kind of behavior alone. Crap! I can understand their viewpoints. Therefore, I usually leave them alone. Monsters have their viewpoints, and humans have theirs. For coexistence to happen, we both have to understand the other. I have my own viewpoint as the Monster Lord. All monsters are my cute subordinates. <laughs> Where'd that come from? No matter what you say, I won't lend a hand to defeat my own cute little subordinates. You understand, right? I won't ask for your help. You're traveling with me, but not my ally. Exactly. I guess our journey will continue as it did before. Uh, just wait till what happens at the end. Oh. I didn't think I'd understand the Monster Lord's position. Traveling to the Monster Lord's castle with the Monster Lord herself. It might be a strange journey, but that might be fun too. With the sign's bell in hand, we head out of the cave. Okay. Oh goodness. Yeah, the revelation when I when I first played, God, it really it really hit me. Because <laughs> I wasn't expecting it at all. I mean when Granberia just listened to her to not uh, attack the village anymore, I just thought it was because Alice was an extremely powerful monster. I didn't think she was actually the monster lord herself. We came back to Ilias Fort. Shall we head right to the port to find a boat or talk to some people first? Uh, how about we just go and leave the port? Why not? Let's just go. This is my first time leaving the continent. I tell Alice while we head to the port. It's also the first time I'll step foot on the Centaur continent. I passed over it in the sky a few times, though. I thought you only set out on your journey a few days ago. That's right. After I left the castle, I flew right to the Alias Temple. That's how I met you. What a freak accident. That sudden crash. I've asked her what the hell happened a few times, but she never told me. I wonder if she fell asleep while flying or something. At any rate, we, fin we finally arrived at the harbor. The fishermen all looked busy loading and unloading their ships. <clears throat> I think I got, like, just about everything I need, right? Well, there's nothing else of value. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. If we want to get past it, we should look for someone who looks important. Using that line of thinking, we find someone who looks like a captain. Excuse me, we don't take a ship to the Centaur continent? Ha! <laughs> you must be joking, young boy. You know what happens to any ship that leaves here, right? If we hang this Poseidon's bell from the bow, it should be alright. Don't be ridiculous. If such a dirty bell would let me li let me avoid storms, I'd be rich. Looks like he doesn't believe us. If you let me give it a try, you'll understand. I'll prove I'm not tricking you if you just let me have a small boat or something. I don't have enough free time to listen to some brat's prank. Yeah, it looks like he's completely ignoring us still. Well, what should we do now? Move, Luca. Al suddenly stands in front of the captain. Oh, what a fine woman. I'd give you a special ride if you catch my drift. <laughs> Follow my commands. Alice's, Alice's eyes suddenly glow. The captain suddenly straightened, in his po straightened his posture and stood at attention in front of Alice. Yes, your wish is my command. Take us to the Centaur continent. Start the preparations at once. Understood. Oi, you all! Pack your proficient stuff and get ready for departure! Eh? Uh... Roger! 
The perplexed sailors begin to hastily prepare the ship. Alice, did you hypnotize him with your eyes? I faced a couple monsters so far that had the same kind of ability. Not really, I don't think we had anybody that did that with their eyes. Not yet. I guess it's natural that the monster would be able to use it too. <laughs> These are the magic eyes that high-ranking monsters have. Using them, I can charm, confuse, petrify, or cause someone to faint at my will. That's awfully convenient. She's like a walking abnormal status machine. Uh, just a clip of ribbon, Ruka, Luca, and you'll be fine. You're, you'll be immune to like literally every status, status effect. Anyway, thanks for the help. <sighs> Don't get the wrong idea. It would be just annoying to just be annoying to be stuck here. Even though she says she isn't going to help me, she sure does help me a lot. Yeah, she does. Maybe she doesn't, really doesn't want to receive free lunches from me. We're ready for the. We're ready to depart. Please board, Captain. Where are we taking these people? Who are they anyway? You idiot! Watch your mouth in front of these fine people. These fine travelers are. Who again? It doesn't matter. Let's just board. Thanks for the ride. Thus we board the ship. We're finally beginning the voyage. Even though I'm calling it a voyage, it will only take about a day. We should arrive at the port in Port Natalia in uh, about noon tomorrow. Mm. At night on board. Even in a place like this, I can't get out of Alice's special training. During battle, it's normally suicide to jump. When you jump, it's pretty damn obvious what your movements are going to be until you land. But this demon skull beheading is different. By falling too fast for them to hit you, you crush the skull of your enemy. <laughs> like this? I climb up the mast and try to swing my sword as I jump off. With Alice guiding me, I repeat it over and over. Hmm. You're still immature, but you learn quickly. It's more or less like that. You need to master it in actual combat now. Nice. This technique was a favorite of Desuria the Harpy, who was known as Death as the Death on Wings. Smashing the skulls of 300 enemies, their brains covering the field in a mess. Oh god, these these stories that she tells me about the skills I get. Oh my goodness. I want you to teach me more hero-like abilities. You know, like I don't want to be learning techniques where the history behind them is that they were used for mass murder. Won't using such a horrible technique make Helios angry? There's a big issue in using this technique though. As you saw, you need to be at a great height to use this technique. And since you're a human, you can't fly in the air. Yes, I know that. So there's a condition. If there's nothing to climb nearby, you can't use it. Even if you have the necessary SP, you won't be able to use it if you can't climb anything. Okay, so that... It, it's a, As far as I know, it's a strong skill, so it makes sense that... I can't be able to use it unless there's something I can actually climb up off of. So, so I don't abuse it. I see. Controlled by the nearby battle features. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's probably because it's a game-breaking skill for now. I get it. I'll oh, make sure to remember that. Now I started to stare at the ring on my finger. Hey, Luca. Hey, excuse me, but can I see your ring? Alice, I already told you that you can't eat it. Who do you think I am? Watch your mouth. I won't eat or steal it. I'm just a little interested. Then is it okay for you to look at it while it's on my finger? I promised my dying mother that I would always carry it with me. Imagine if he took the ring off at this point in time. Imagine if he had taken the ring off at this point in time. I can only ima <laughs> imagine. The look on Alice's face. The shock for Lucas, like he probably had like a dang near heart attack. Oh, man. That's fine. Al stares intently at the ring on my finger. She starts to slowly shake her head. 
The residual thoughts from this ring aren't anything special. The hidden power you had doesn't seem related to the ring. That thing that happened when I beat Nanabi? When you said I continued to fight her while sleeping? I still don't remember anything that happened. I was asleep, so of course that's to be expected. Though you may not remember it, that power was extraordinary. One ring like that couldn't give you such power. Was it so amazing when I was asleep? Maybe. One of your ancestors was some high-ranking monster or something. No, maybe one of your ancestors, okay. Usually monsters only have female children, but there are some exceptions in rare cases. In some strange mutations, it can be a male. In that way, a normal human male is born. But again, with some rare cases, they can retain some magic power. Even as the Monster Lord, I've only heard of a couple rare cases. A monster has one of my ancestors? So one of my ancestors broke the ban with mating with monsters? Well, it's only a guess. Your power sure wasn't ordinary. You have such an amazing latent power, hurry up and master it, idiot. Even if you say that, I can't remember it at all. If you have potential like that, it's sure to develop as you fight more. We'll train a lot from now on. I know already. By the way, Alice, did you say you could feel thoughts from this ring? Yes, but it isn't particularly special. Nor does it seem like it's affecting you. Just some thoughts of a mother worried about her child. It's probably your mother. I see. My mother's feelings. I tightly grip my ring. I also thought y your mother was a monster. But I can't feel any magic like that from the ring. The owner of that ring was definitely human. Of course! Besides, my mother died of sickness. When there was a viril virulent disease spreading through the village, my mother got infected. A monster getting sick from the same disease as a human is unheard of. I see. I'm sorry to make you remember something painful. Don't worry about it. By the way, what about your parents? I have no idea about my father. My race only cares about the mother. Perhaps it was just some man my mother attacked. That does beg the question, though, like, if she, if her mom just attacked, like she said, just attacked a random human, got what she needed, and then had Alice, or if it was actually a man worthy to be with the Monster Lord, if it was actually a man worthy to be with the Monster Lord, but he probably, like, he died of old age, or he, he probably, he probably wasn't even able to last like, survive the, uh, the night. <laughs> hmm. There's another thought, there's another little theory in my head, but, I, if I, if I recall correctly, something, that, um, something that's shown in the game, it, it, it debunks it, but it's still a, still a thought. It, it could have happened. It could have happened. I don't care if she ate him or not. But with my mother's character, she probably didn't kill him. Somehow that's... I guess a lot of monsters wouldn't care about their father. Most might not even have the conception, the concept of my father. My mother was the 15th head of our family. But now she's no more. I see. Alice did call herself the 16th. To become the next head, I guess the previous would have to die. Would have had to die. I didn't hear any more about that subject. It's gotten a little gloomy. Now, let's resume the training. Right as she said that, there was a storm brewing. Suddenly the sea started to rage. Shattering the peaceful atmosphere from before, a storm suddenly appears in full power from nowhere. Is this the storm they were talking about? A regular boat would have been capsized instantly by this. But this ship isn't even rocking. From the bow of the ship, the Poseidon's bell is softly glowing. Alright, as expected of Captain Selene's treasure. Hmm, what a wonderful treasure a human had. But in the next moment, Alice's expression turns dark. Suddenly the storm vanishes. 
uh, uh, crap, I keep right click. I'm not even trying to right click. Oh my god. What happened? <laughs> right after the wind fades. An ugly ass monster appears on the bow. Yeah. The walking obscenity herself. Your paradox version is so much better than you are. You. Alma Alma, one of the four heavenly knights. I see. So you're that human. The boy that caught Alice's eye. You look delicious, and you look ready for. to get your ass whooped. I can't even come up with an insult because I'm. I'm trying to keep calm <laughs> and, and raging on the inside at the same time. She licks her lips with a smack as she stares at me, then turns her gaze towards Alice. Lord Alice, according to your order, I'll exterminate the hero who's attacking monsters. May I execute your orders of defense? I don't give exceptions. I'm just observing this boy. I'm not protecting him, nor giving special treatment. <laughs> I didn't think you'd say that, but I understand. It's like that, Luca boy. Hmm, Luca boy. I won't let you through this area. That's probably the only good thing I can say about her right now. Her original version. Is that it may immediately made me think of Pegasus when she said Luca boy. <laughs> Luca boy? I'm a little disappointed at that, but she's still my enemy. And a monster at the same level as Granberia. I'll beat you and pass through by force. I... I think I have enough time to try to get this th get through this. A little hero so full of courage. How do you want me to violate you, Luca boy? I'm gonna use my hand, and my mouth. I'm gonna squeeze you between my my baps. Or do you wanna try? I'm gonna try it like this. Doesn't this tail look really good too? No, not really. Ugh. All right, I'll do it with my tail. Without using my hands, feet, or magic, I'll play with you. Okay, I believe you. Struggle as much as you can, and let me en let me enjoy myself. After you finish playing, I'll be sure to suck you try. <laughs> I want to cut your head off so bad. Here I come. Okay. As expected from one of the four heavenly knights. Just her gaze is enough to force me back. I really can't be underestimated by her cavalier attitude. Uh, Alright. Start strong with Thunder Thrust. Yeah, I, I figured I'm not doing anything. <laughs> uh, that did nothing. If you're even a little careless, my tail will suck you in. Gently wrap that, yeah. Jeez. Also, I'm realizing like she's actually letting me hit her. Shut up! Are you imagining it? Yet? Yeah, no, 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 no. Heart starts to beat faster than words. Ugh. Yeah, of course I missed. not doing that much damage, but even so, neither am I. As I thought, her strength isn't ordinary. Normal attacks don't seem to do anything of consequence. If it's like this, then I'll have to use that technique. Even though I just learned it, I'll have to use it right away. I'm still unsure, but I have to do it. Oh, can I just use it? Shut up. Yeah, okay, I can use it. Okay. Luca quickly climbs the message up the top. Oh! But Alma catches her sword, his sword between her hands. No way! I mean, that attack was stopped. Ah, uh, so it was. Is the attack really that deadly that you had to catch? 
I don't have any other tricks left. Uh, looks like I lost. Eh? I promised, right, I wouldn't use my hand speed or magic. But I had to use my hands to stop that attack. This time, I'll give the win to you. My win? Such a thing is fine, right, Lord Alice? If that's what you want, it's fine by me. So that's how it is. I'll retreat this time. But next time, I'll be a serious opponent. No, you won't, because I'm starting to remember how fights with you always go. You're not even remotely serious. That's one of the other things that angers me about you, is that you're not serious. I'm glad, I mean, I'm glad for a fact that I, I'm able to live to fight another day fighting after fighting you, but you're not serious. You're not serious. Get serious. Then you'll actually be fun. Uh, selectively licks her index finger at me. A lot of just like this, you scream, faint, teasing you all over, I'll show you a hellish pleasure. Select the words paired with her licking comes by going to slightly stir. Fucking perf. Make sure you look forward to it. Strong wind starts to surround the ship again, and all my helmet vanishes in a strong gust of wind. Let's chase the way. Uh, I think I'll stop for here for now, take a little break, because I'm going I'm to try to see if I can find this shrift thing in English translation online, and maybe, just maybe, I'll actually play it for the channel. So, that was, I mean, that wasn't really a tough fight, it's only the only fight of the video, but I feel like taking a break right now, so next time I'm also going to quest, we're going to continue our journey across the sea, and see where we can go from there. See you guys then.